what's up you guys, After Chef Reacts here, and today I'm going to be reacting to some more Stargate Atlantis. This is Season 2, Episode 16. Uh, let's get into the episode. People just sit and watch this box for hours at a time. Yeah, people do. Is it that engaging? It depends what's on it. There are lots of programs and dozens of channels every day, all day. Most of which are fictional representations of ridiculously attractive people in absurd situations. There are educational programs, all sorts of documentaries. How many people watch them, but, uh, well, they're on. And that's what everybody on your planet does for entertainment. Watch a box. Not everyone. Although I will confess to the occasional half hour of Jeopardy. Jeopardy. It's the name of the show, Jeopardy. That's dangerous. Double Jeopardy. That's twice as dangerous. <laughs> Proximity alarm. Something's out there. The first point is ready. I'm on my way down. Colonel Caldwell. I see you have arrived without your ship. Yes, well, Hermione's doing some repairs to the hyperdrive that requires traveling in a wide orbit around the solar system. So while my ship flies in circles, I thought I'd beam down early and see if I could do a little repair work of my own. That's not necessary. Okay, we got rid of the gold inside of him. The host to a ghoul parasite is aware of what's happened to them. I won't soon forget what I was forced to do. Still, you can't be held responsible for your actions. Hey. Hello, Doctor. She's alive. It appears we found her very near the end. All the major organs are shutting down. How long was she out there? There's no way to tell for certain. So she could be an ancient. Ah, uh, the pod design makes me doubt that. It's a shame she can't speak with us. Just imagine what she could tell us about her people and about what happened to her. Gotta go to lab three, stack. You know, I was thinking about this the other day, and I'm gonna ask a question here. You know how there's like a kind of non-canon, canon theme song lyrics for SG-1? Is there one for this intro? A long goodbye. Goodbye. It's the woman, I'm guessing. Okay. Doctor Ware is fine. Where it doesn't talk about herself in third person. She was simply overcome by the effects of the imprinting. A security team to the infirmary? That's not necessary, Colonel Caldwell. She is merely harboring my consciousness. Oh, here we go again. You are. I am Phoebus. We are a race of explorers. On our journey home, our vessel was attacked. By the Wraith? Yes. We were forced to abandon ship and launch our life pods. If this has happened to me, then I've been adrift for some time, and the pod has determined my body is beyond resuscitation. You're quite correct. Then for all intents and purposes, I am already dead. Yeah, we're all very sorry. Where's Elizabeth? She is here also. And I suppose you'd like us to take your word for that? Would you like to speak with her? Yes, we would. Oh, oh it's okay, Carson. I'm, I'm fine. Elizabeth? I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but there's another, um... I know. Her name is Phoebus. You seem remarkably sanguine about all of this. Well, the imprinting will only last a matter of hours. The other pod. Uh, Phoebus urgently desires to be here when we bring the other pod back to Atlantis. Why? She believes it's her husband. He escaped the ship, she's certain of it, and uh, <laughs> the rush of emotion is... It's overwhelming. I can imagine. No, no, you can't. John, I'd like you to try. Phoebus has a favor I should like to ask of you. Okay. <laughs> Are you sure she's up for this? Physically, she's perfectly fine. Why would she in a wheelchair? Besides, then? Elizabeth wouldn't take no for an answer. Ah, love is a powerful thing, Carson. You're a hopeless romantic, you know that? Well, you're just as hopeless. Otherwise, you wouldn't have agreed. I prefer if this alien consciousness weren't harmed. Right. Oh. Colonel Shepard, I'll have to be in close proximity to the pod for the transfer to happen. Yeah. But you're not moving. You know, they were husband and wife. Anything could happen. I promise to be discreet. <laughs> well, um, I guess I'll see you guys later. Have fun. It's kind of weird. What if they go have sex? Just saying. Give him a moment. Phelan. It's me. 
These generous people have allowed us to be together one last time. You consented to this. One last chance to say goodbye to my husband. I know this body is different, but I assure you, Theon, it's me. Is it possible for us to be alone, just for a few minutes? No, absolutely not. No. Don't be so heartless. Look, there are two consenting adults. That's not what I'm concerned about, Doctor. The Colonel's right. Doctor Weir is in charge of this facility. I'm just saying there should be an armed guard just outside the door. Two guards, one at each door. I've already taken that precaution. They're right outside. Hey! <laughs> I mean, you guys are really stupid. I feel like this was very, like, Don't shoot, that's kind of naive of you guys. I'm sorry, I... You two need some very serious marriage counsel. He's not my husband. He's the enemy. Drop your weapon. <coughs> now radio security and tell them everything is fine. Everything's not fine. Rodney. Security, this is Dr. Rodney McKay. Everything is fine, never been better. Uh, Colonel Caldwell was kidding when he said what he oh, said. Oh, forget it. This is Dr. Weir. Attention all personnel. Colonel Shepard is not, I repeat, not who he pretends to be. If you find him, secure the area and contact me immediately. I'll deal with him myself. You heard there was trouble? Yes, Major, it's Colonel Shepard. He's not himself. What exactly does that mean? It means he's a threat to the city. We have to find him. Your team's with me. He's the enemy, why would you allow? I don't understand. Why would you let Shepard take him on? I don't know. I have a medical emergency in lab three. I don't right? understand. Stunner blast, I'm fine. What happened? She was playing us from the beginning. Where? Shepard too, it's both of them now. Control room, patch my radio through to security teams only. This is Caldwell. Both Dr. Weir and Colonel Shepard are under the influence of alien entities. If at all possible, subdue and contain them with non-lethal force. I'm gonna need you to hand over that weapon. Did it occur to you that Colonel Caldwell might be under the same influence as Colonel Shepard? You weren't there. Hand over the weapon. Now. I guess you'd leave me no choice. You took them all out. Okay, sure. We just lost contact with Major Lorne. All right, I want all non-essential personnel to return directly to their quarters and remain there until notified. The only people I want moving through the city are my security teams. Yes, sir. We may be able to track their progress using the life science detectors. If they'll read this human, you won't be able to differentiate. Security teams travel in groups of two or more. They'll be the only individual signals traveling through the city. What are you waiting for? Uh, look, I don't want to get all uh, chain of command on you here, but um, I am a senior member of this expedition. So with Elizabeth and Colonel Shepard out of the equation, then... I'm uh, in charge. No, 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 no. See, I, I don't think that's technically true, because you're here for, like, what, one week out of six? That doesn't... Is it possible that because I was host to a ghoul, you don't trust me? I didn't say that. I'm the highest ranking military officer here, and this is clearly a military situation. I mean, true. Fine. Sir, I'm picking up some chatter I think you'll want to hear. Put it on speaker. The moment I find you, you die. Well, they're headed straight for divorce. That whole thing was a ruse. In fact, I doubt very much if we were ever speaking with Dr. Weir. It was a remarkable impression, I'll give you that. From the sound of it, we have two fighter pilots who don't... I don't know about that. It is much worse than that. They know everything about this city. And the layout, defensive systems, how to access weapons. We just need to find a way to stop them without unduly harming the hose. What does that mean? Well, obviously, some force may be necessary. <laughs> Contact any teams that may be off world. Let them know that we're suspending all gate activity until further notice. We're going full alert status. I think I just located one of them near the power room. Are oh, you kidding? What happened? The whole city just went dark. Oh, tell me you had someone guarding the power room. Two Marines from Daedalus. Hutchinson, this is Caldwell. Report. <laughs> Where's auxiliary power? Not good at generators aren't kicking in. Jeez. You guys all suck. I'm just saying. Some biometric sensor. The fact that you're able to just get taken out so easily. Come on. These communications are also down. We need to get down to the power room, Doctor. Restore primary systems. I should go along too. Marines could be hot. Exactly. Marines may have been injured. We can't go down there. I will send two of my people along with you. What? I mean, because they did so well. In ambush. Because he's not trying to kill us. He's trying to kill Doctor Weir. Oh, that is so much more comforting. This is not a request, Doctor McKay. Let me know the moment you have a damage assessment. Ronan, you there? How would you know that Ronan was here? 
came here looking for you, buddy, so uh, don't shoot or you'll ruin my entire plan. What Codwell tell you? That you're not who you say you are. Well, consider the source. If there are two alien entities running around. It's him and Weir. I'm the good guy here. So who got the power? Okay, I admit, that was me. And why? I'm just trying to stay alive here. Caldwell has given the orders, and you're the only one I can trust not to shoot me on sight. And what about Weir? Her you can shoot. And by shoot, I mean stun, and only because she's not herself. Can you prove you're you? No, I can't. What would Shepard watch on TV? No, that won't work. Why not? Because if there was an alien consciousness in my head, he'd know the answer was football. But only Shepard would admit that, so... Right. Look, just help me find her before they do. That's all I'm asking. Give me the gun. Okay, can we start? Yeah. Plan didn't work. She got away because all I had was this stupid little thing. At least you're out of the way. You're not. Not Shepard, no. But I tell you what, he is screaming in my head right now like you wouldn't believe. Medical team to South Fort Cargo hold. You have a man down. I mean, at the very least, he called for medical assistance. Instead of running after them with bloody guns, why don't you try talking to them? And say what? I don't know, just stall them. We know it's only a matter of time before Dr. Weir and Colonel Shepard are themselves again. Yeah, I'll take that under advisement, Doctor. In the meantime, I think you should return to the infirmary. I'm sending you a patient. He was unconscious when we found him. He's been shot. I can see that, son. Now go drums up a few more torches. Colonel Caldwell, I'm ready to attempt a partial power-up. Give me everything you got, Doctor. I have report of automatic weapons fire, and Taylor's not answering your radio. Here we go. Of course, there they come on. Let's get them under a scanner and make sure I didn't miss any tissue damage. Lovely work, everyone. Now what the hell's going on? I don't know. Sections of the city have begun automatically sealing themselves off. Oof. Letting me override. Because the moment the power came back up, she used a remote computer terminal to take control of the city. She's put us into a total lockdown under her command code. Can you invalidate her code? Maybe I could have before the lockdown, but the command's already been given. Somebody should have thought of that, huh? Well, you mean I should have thought of that? Can you hack it somehow? Override her code. You do know who you're talking to. So that's a yes? I'm just saying, if anyone can, I can. I helped design the system. Then do it, please. <laughs> All right, but I'm using my command code. Why? Because you still don't trust me? No, because it is a 16-digit alphanumeric code that I will have to enter God knows how many times, and I haven't got around to memorizing yours yet. Just get me control of the city back. Caldwell, can you hear me? Go ahead. By now you're aware the city is entirely under my control. And there are several bulkhead doors between me and your nearest search team. You can't possibly get to me. Yes, we're well aware. And I'm sure Dr. McKay believes he can override my command code, and it's possible. In a matter of several hours, he could, but I don't have that kind of time. We'd be more than happy to wait this out. Who knows what kind of trouble I could cause with life support while I wait? Or maybe I'll just send a signal to the Wraith, like you did. What do you want? I want Shepard. Oh, I'm sorry I can't help you with that. Is there something else I can do for you? Don't screw with me, Caldwell. At the very least, I can kill Weir. When you get him, contact me. Taylor, this is Caldwell. Weir's put the city under a lockdown. I want you to go after Shepard. You and he have been locked into the same section. He's one floor up. I will contact you as soon as I have him. Taylor, out. Colonel Shepard. Good work. Secure him and stand by for further instructions. Caldwell, do you have him or not? I'm losing patience. We're working on it. I don't buy it, Colonel. I'm telling the truth. Even Weir thinks you're hopeless. She can't hide it. We're close. We're not close. I have found an interesting way of rerouting your new Halon fire suppression system all the way from hazmat storage to personnel quarters. 
Now that's where the majority of your city's population is holed up. Ironically, Dr. Weir was concerned when the system was installed that halon gas extinguishes people, as well as fires. So, shall we take it to the point that I start counting down from an arbitrary number? We have him. I thought you might. There's a new security camera in the northernmost stairwell of that part of the tower. I want him taken there so that I can see him. Kicking and screaming, if possible. Taylor, we've been requested to put the colonel in front of the nearest security camera. I'm not surprised that you're the only one that managed to get to him. What do you want? We're just gonna wait until he regains consciousness. Are you making any progress? Yes. Really? I would just like to state for the record that it is astounding to me that once again I find myself in the position of having to save this city when you and your space marines can't figure out how to track down two people. There are two people with the skills and resources of Dr. Weir and Colonel Shepard who probably know this city better than anyone else. And also for the record, I was against this from the very beginning. Yes! Yes, you were. Thank you. <laughs> Please, continue. He's regaining consciousness. Kayla, it's me. Do not waste your breath trying to convince me you're a John Shepard. I do not believe you. Do you see what they're doing? They're pitting us against each other. You know me. Oh, please. You call that acting? There's that look of defeat I love. Sir, I have Colonel Shepard on my screen. Wrong again. Still hatred. I guess I'm satisfied with this. Taylor? Yes? Kill him. Don't listen to her. Kill him now, or I vent Halon fire suppressing into all the living spaces in Atlantis. Okay? I know. I know. I'm almost done here. How can she do this? Yes, she's created a shunt between the fire suppression system and life support. I believe so. How many people are at risk? Three quarters of the expedition. Why are you doing this? I have spent my entire life at war with his world. Thousands have died with no hope for victory. Both sides reduced to a mere handful of fighters. If he really is the last, then in the end, my people will have won. Your people? You're one person? Don't believe her. Believe me when I say I have absolutely nothing to lose. In a very short time, I will feel excruciating pain. This body will convulse and I will cease to exist. That's what is ahead for me. All I can hope for now is to achieve victory for my people. Your people are long dead. Who lost or won a war so many years ago? It does not matter. It matters to me. You're gonna be dead and soon anyway, so what? If you kill me, Please do not make me do this. You don't have to. Shoot him or I release the gas and just hope it reaches the both of you. I'm not gonna tell you what to do. I am. Kill him. Make it look like you killed him. Maybe. Shepard doesn't believe you'll do it. <laughs> I've got it. I'm overriding your code now. You sure? It's done. Go. Taylor, this is Caldwell. Do not fire. I repeat, do not fire. Can you maintain the lockdown on the science lab? Keep where where she is? Nope. Taylor. Can't leave me like this. If anything, you should stay here. Oh, you don't know how determined she is. He's going into convulsions. Do not release him no matter what happens. His loss is less longer than his. That was... No. Taylor. I think that was fake. Is that really you? Never gonna believe me, so... Not even gonna try. I don't believe it. Away from him and up against the wall. He is unconscious. I don't know how many bullets I have left in this thing or I would have already shot you. I said back off! I want to see his face. You all right? Yes, it is over. Sorry we took so long. We were stuck in that damn corridor for two hours. Call a medical team and have them both taken to the infirmary. How do you know it was me? I still do not. Keep his hands bound until Dr. Beckett tells you otherwise. Good morning. What's your name? Sure hung in there for a while. What, when did she? Sometime in the middle of the night, kicking, screaming. However, that was the strangest feeling, no? The entire time I was shouting to everyone, but nothing I wanted would come out of my mouth. It's a real nightmare, especially when you shot Ronan. Oh, God, but I wasn't... I know, I know. It was her. 
How is he? He's fine. Taylor and Rodney just went to see him in post office. Did they believe you were you? To be honest, I think the only people who believe 100% are Beckett. You. And me. In fact, I can safely say that I know how you feel. Yes, sir. Thank you, Colonel, for keeping a potentially explosive situation under control. Yeah, well, it was a lot closer than I would like to admit. For what it's worth, Kay says you did a good job. Did he? Wow. Maybe there's still hope for me yet. Oh, God, no. Don't believe anything she might have said. I'm kidding. Don't give it another thought. Well, if you'll excuse me, I'm sure you'll both agree that the paperwork on this is going to be a nightmare, especially that kiss. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, try not to kill each other while I'm gone. Hey, what's up, you guys? Quick interruption here. Um, as you are no doubt aware, these past few years have been tough on all of us. Um, and there are some things that none of us can hide from. Um, the cost of living, for instance, food and things like electricity, gas and water have all gone up and they continue to go up. Um, now, I don't really like to advertise this, but in order to afford keeping the lights on, the camera running and to be able to provide you guys with new content like this very edit for example uh, i feel i need to let you guys know about how you can help support the channel and myself i have a patreon that if you pledge to you're helping support the channel and in return you can get a vast amount of content that you wouldn't regularly get on youtube such as full unedited reactions to my regular content, a ton of other shows and movies that you probably don't even know that I've reacted to. A link to this can be found in the description below and it really does help the channel by keeping me and my very cute cats alive. Think of the cats. If you're interested, you can also check out our website, which is also linked below. Perhaps there's some shows and movies there that you didn't even know that I reacted to, but you always wanted to see. Please know, pledging is entirely your own choice, of course. You're welcome to stay here on YouTube and wait for the edits to come out. No worries, I'm not going anywhere. More edits are coming. Uh, I understand not everyone is in the position to support creators, but any help is welcome. Anyways, thank you for your continued support, whether it's through YouTube or on Patreon. You guys are the best. Now please, enjoy the rest of the video. Alrighty, well that was Stargate Atlantis Season 2 Episode 16. Um, it was an alright episode. You know, it was like two people... Um, I mean they kind of experienced what Caldwell went through with the gold, I guess. Um, I'm just really disappointed in, like, what, the Marines? I don't know. I don't know they are exactly. But, like, I'm really disappointed in, in, in all of the, the soldiers around the place, like, just all getting taken out by everyone. It was very disappointing to see. Uh, none of them stood a chance. Um... Yeah, uh, what did you guys think? Let me know, and I'll see you in the next one.